They came May 31st, 1921 through June the 1st, 18 hours of mass racial terror. They indiscriminately killed women, children, men, elderly, and they robbed them. They destroyed our church that was built in 1908. It's burned to the ground. The story of Black Wall Street has been lost almost 100 years. In fact, the very first time the airplanes were used to terrorize Americans was not a 9-11, not a Pearl Harbor, but it was right here. Rarely seen video of the 1921 at Tulsa race riot. People and their accomplishments, their hope burned to the ground. You must be Senator Matthews. Yes. I'm Elizabeth yes. Warren. Uh, it's so nice to meet you. This is one of the early memorials to the tragedy that kind of recounts some of the destroyed commercial enterprises in the community. And it's pretty sobering to look at that list. That's a very long list wow. of businesses destroyed, um, obviously unnecessarily in, in the 1921. And Last look year. at the variety Absolutely. of all that was here. That's what made it Black Wall Street. Restaurants, yes. grocery stores, uh, hospital. Right. hospital, clothing. Right. And, and Factories. By, by contrast, look at what is not here today. Yeah. <laughs> and now we see just right. lots of open land right. and, and a highway. Were any of the white men involved ever prosecuted? No. In fact, uh, several dozen black men were indicted for inciting the riot. And only recently have those indictments been dropped. So the work that we're doing right now is about reconciliation and healing and trying to turn that tragedy into triumph, but it's a big uphill battle. People are traumatized by what happened in 1921. For decades, this history went almost unmentioned. It's like a festering wound that's untended. The wound does not disappear, and when we do decide that we're going to address that wound, it becomes much more difficult to treat. I say it's emblematic of the racial violence that occurred in the United States during this period, generally. Uh -huh. And we don't talk about it. We yeah. don't want to talk about it because it's not comfortable. Yeah. But we have to talk about it. White nationalism is a domestic terrorist threat, uh, just like uh, foreign terrorism. And we really need to have a Department of Justice that is focused on nice. this, willing to fight <laughs> back, that's right, willing to investigate, willing to prosecute. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's powerfully important. We right. can't... I agree. Yeah. It is hard to really produce another one of these Black Wall Streets for African Americans because we've been so penalized over the years. That's why I love Senator Warren because she speaks on how wealth is so concentrated now. And the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre Centennial Commission, on which I serve, is working just on that. We're going to build a museum quality facility called Greenwood Rising that's going to tell this whole narrative arc. We're providing incentives for entrepreneurship. We want to stimulate that Black Wall Street entrepreneurial mindset. So if, if our, our forebears could do it then, in the early 1900s, we can do it now. There's a reason we do this. Yeah, yeah good for you and Thank the work you. you're doing. Hey, you okay. got your hands full, but you're doing great work. A lot of challenges. Thank you. Good, good to see you, Hannibal. And thank you again, yeah. Pastor. Yeah.